Is juicing easy? No, juicing is not easy because it's not natural. It's definitely not natural to have just liquids. But if you look at me before and you look at where I'm at now, you will see that this is what I need to do right now. Hey everybody, my name is Raw Sky and welcome to my channel. So I've been juicing now for 27 days and I wanted to share some of my journey and why I am doing this and also what it's like and how I'm feeling now and people ask how long it's gonna go for. So let me talk about all that today. Back in November, I got diagnosed with shingles. Now, before I even got the diagnosis of shingles, which was a rash, like the shingles rash, I, for a few months, had not been feeling as great as I usually had. And I think people knew this as I was adding things back to my diet like salt, I was adding things like nuts and seeds. I was trying to find a way to make me feel better as if I had some sort of deficiency or things weren't going so great. What sort of symptoms did I have during this time? I started to get hair loss, hair thinning. I also just kind of would puff often, um, especially um, if I did some exercise, I noticed I wasn't sweating. I would more likely swell. Um, I would notice I would have crash days and I would have like a full day where I would crash out. I next day wake up and be fine, but still I knew this wasn't normal. So I was thinking since eating a raw diet, I was having things like fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, fresh greens, but I hadn't had nuts in years, like two years. I'd also not had salt or any dried spices. My diet consisted of all fresh raw foods. So I wanted to experiment a bit and see if things could make me feel better. So I added salt back in. Now this did help, especially with what I called cellular dehydration, where it must have been that the fluid was in my body, but it wasn't getting into the cells. Now I do know that you need nutrients, minerals to get water into the cell, especially magnesium. Also sodium can help with this. So I added it back. What I found with salt is I would feel good for about three days and then I would crash out. So then I tried nuts and definitely my hair was getting thicker. I felt stronger on the nuts, but my digestion just got worse. And then spices, I guess with spices, it was just to, I guess, see if it added any value and really it just tasted great and I didn't feel as good. I felt a little bit more dehydrated. So all of the things I tried didn't work exactly but then I ended up with the shingles. Now I had shingles five years ago. After I had the shingles, I could not get up again for almost two years. I was in hospital all the time, couldn't walk, talk, had full-time carers. So this time when I got shingles, I was quite worried, but I did know that I was on raw foods. I was doing the best I could for my body. So the shingles was horrible. The first week I did have pain relief because I, it was just unbearable. You couldn't even have a sheet on my skin. After that, because that made me feel so bad, I started to just have water, rest, but I noticed the only foods I could get down were things like watermelon. Um, I would have some salads, or if, even if I added nuts to the salad, I felt terrible. I really, my digest, it was like my digestion was not good. In my case, it actually feels like the shingles gets on top of the nerves in all the organs. And especially before I had it on the trigeminal nerve and that pain re-flared, like it really, really did flare up. And it does leave you with chronic pain, which does not feel good at all. And what I noticed is as things progress with the shingles, like last time, all I did is get more and more symptoms. So I had massive histamine intolerances. So before I had the shingles, I started to notice this a little bit, nothing like after the shingles. Every time I ate something, I'd break out in a rash. I would swell around my belly. I could barely digest food. So what I was noticing is I'd eat the food and I could taste everything in my mouth. It was like, it was called GERD because I actually don't have a stomach. Top of um, my intestines is missing and my duodenum. So I have struggled with GERD in the past, but since being raw, I hadn't had it. It was literally like laying there re-eating all the food. And then when it finally would pass through me, it was like looking at the food undigested. Also, I was noticing muscle weakness, um, pins and needles. I would get up and go limp. So I was diagnosed as well after the shingles with NFD, a neurological functional disorder. And with that, that's when I had to relearn to walk and talk in a neurological hospital five years ago after shingles. But all of these symptoms were coming back. 
Also, I noticed depression, anxiety, and I was diagnosed with those and in hospital for those after I'd had the shingles last time. Please know on the raw foods, this was not as bad as five years ago, not even a little bit but it was still pretty bad. I'm not out of bed. So let's give it a month after shingles and I'm getting more and more symptoms. I'm cutting back foods because I just can't eat anything. And still, if I had just watermelon for a few days, I could get up and hang the clothes out. I could get to my dad's birthday party. I think at that stage I was having just grapes, um, but then I'd crash out and I'd have a ton of symptoms. Like I remember at my dad's birthday party, I got there, I was eating grapes. I had a bit of salad. I stood up and my pots had come back. I, I don't know how I didn't black out. I was like kind of clinging to a banister. Then the rest of the afternoon I had to rest. So this was a common theme. This just kept occurring after the shingles. So let's move along to two months after the shingles. So the shingles symptoms had settled down. The rash had gone, um, but I would go out in the sun and I'd get a rash all over me. There was nerve pain all over my face. This is called post herpetic neuralgia and I've had it before. So it kind of sits in the nerve. So you've got to understand the shingles virus, it's actually called herpes zoster virus and it comes from the chickenpox. So, and a fun fact here, or I don't know how fun this is, is I started to get sick when I was little, when I was eight years old after the chickenpox. From then I never had great health. I had problems all the time. So shingles for me really, really sets me off. So as I said, it's through my body. I'd go out into the sun, it would flare up. I'm having watermelon and just getting through a day, like barely getting through a day. And then I realized, cause I'm not digesting, I tried juices. Now this just flared up candida. You could literally feel after I juiced, especially if I had food on that day, like I've had watermelon juice and watermelon, you'd literally feel my throat itchy, my ears itchy. It was like my body was just swollen, my belly was swollen. And the problem with my belly swelling is because my stomach's been removed, I have a massive scar all the way down that goes all the way down to the organs. So once I swell, my swollen gut splits and it's just so painful. Also in the past, I never juiced because I don't have a GI tract. A lot of it, and especially sugary sweet juices, which is where we get our calories from, would just set off my dumping syndrome. And dumping syndrome essentially is where you eat and if you're missing your stomach, it dumps straight into the intestines and it creates a, a blood sugar rise and you get diarrhea, you feel faint. I was also avoiding juices for that reason. Plus I've always felt whole fruits are optimal, always. Anyway, it was getting to the point where I wasn't getting better. So I thought I'll just try juice. And when I started, what I remembered is when I was trying to eat salads again, although they just make me swell, they wouldn't set off the candida. So I was making non-sweet green juices. And this is at the end of December. So I'd been sick for two months. And what I noticed when I had the green juices is no symptoms and I would get up. So I would be able to get up, do some things. I also noticed the next day there was no hair breakage in the shower. I also just felt stronger, like a, a sense of well-being. Um, so I would try a sweet juice with that. Now I could only drink small amounts of any sweet juice and mostly it was just grapes and watermelon juice. Remember also at this stage, I've got a histamine intolerance. So I'm really limited with what fruits I can have. So watermelon seemed to work, grapes seemed to work and greens seemed to work. So I juiced those. In just a couple of days, my symptoms literally just fell away. Now what I know in my journey of healing is if something works and is healing me, there's no downtime, there's no hard time, there's no detox, it just works. And I start to feel better and better and better. And that overall well feeling is what guides me to health. So if I don't have that by my side, inside my heart as I'm healing, I know it's not working. For me, there's no doing just watermelon for months, it doesn't change. And I don't know what anybody else's experience is like, but for me, there's a sense of well-being. I'm getting better, hair stronger, nails stronger, feeling stronger every day. That's my guide. So juicing was doing this. And by day four, which I think was New Year's Day, it was amazing. I feel like 70% of my symptoms were gone. The tiredness, I was always in bed, that had gone. All the post herpetic pain had just eased. My histamine intolerance was so much better. My stomach was slowly going down. Um, my hair, as I said, stopped breaking. Candida was so much better. Please note it was mostly green juices and I have done a video on what green juice I use. So just check out that, I'll link it below. It was parsley, coriander, cucumber and celery. 
and that worked wonders and slowly I would have the sweet juices because I needed the calories plus I feel like my brain just works better when I've got sweet juices I was also doing coconut water and having that and I feel that is really vital for me because I find on um, the juices and even before the juices I was feeling dehydrated all the time where it felt like my body was just swollen and holding water but the water wasn't getting into the cells what I want to say at this stage is I still also believe that whole fruit is optimal if I eat just a fruit diet and some greens and a little bit of fats from something like coconut avocado some nuts I will feel the best I've ever felt when I'm well this is the best of I can't even say a bad situation because I'm doing absolutely amazing but what I have noticed on juice is I can feel very dehydrated and essentially it would be because the fruits and the greens you eat them they sit inside your stomach and they're held and they're slowly released with nutrients at the right speed it's nature creates it for us to eat this is a different ball game so everything's going in all at once so you want to start by sipping it slowly you want to go easy but this dehydration seemed to heal a lot with a lot of fresh coconut water it has to be fresh can't be pasteurized heat treated fresh that has really helped me a lot too before going into more of my juice journey I want to say what I have learned so far and what I noticed as soon as I started healing was my gut health so what I actually feel did happen is my gut and it is damaged from a lot of surgery over the years it somehow got clogged up as in things weren't absorbing things weren't moving through fast enough I think in my case this happened because you need to eat a lot of food on a raw diet and I don't have a holding tank a stomach duodenum is missing too on top of intestine so that's going to slow everything so I'm over the years eating more and more and my body just can't handle it and I wasn't feeling the cues and I think I kept putting more food in and trying more food to fix a problem so when that's happened is the body's also slowing down it's getting inflamed it's getting acidic it's getting candida SIBO all problems and nutrients aren't being absorbed and then what happens is a lot of pressure and stress goes to the kidneys and the liver and then you start to notice you get rashes and it's as if the blood is then getting toxic from what's actually happening in the gut because as soon as I ease that stress off the gut with juicing within four days you could feel flow you could feel everything moving through my body again the rashes subsided every symptom subsided I will say and before I go into the juice journey that recently I did try something with histamines in it lemons the other day and I just had too many and I flared up again but besides that when I've juiced I haven't had any of these histamine um, effects either so in my case I feel I got shingles based on my gut health I feel like the same thing happened years ago when I got well I hadn't been eating much because I'd been sick and when I did and it was a paleo diet with lots of fruit um, vegetables nuts seeds and a meat meal each day I feel I did the same thing is when I get into life and I'm doing running and I'm um, seeing people and having fun is you've got to eat calories and I've worked out my gut it's just not happy when I put too much in so I feel like the juicing which I've been doing I will do a lot more of when I come off this as well and probably smoothies I don't want to stress my gut out too much in the future so let's talk about my juice journey right this journey has been amazing okay so when I started as I said I was basically a lot of greens and then I would have some sweet juices like watermelon any melon was fine I'd also have grape juices I'm loving grape juice right now it is really really great I would have say wake up in the morning I'd have like a liter of coconut water I would then have one liter of green juice next I would then in the middle of the day have anywhere from two to three liters of a sweet juice okay then in the afternoons I'd have another green juice another liter of that and then in the evening I was having more coconut water and any coconut water I wanted during the day I feel that's so hydrating so this did really really well for let's say up to I'm pretty sure it was between 15 to 20 days then I noticed I wasn't doing as well as if my body was really sensitive okay um, I could juggle like the greens and the sweets each day sometimes do a little bit more sweet juice sometimes a little bit more green juice but I still noticed that I just wasn't feeling my best and I always go on how I feel um, as to how I'm doing if I start to feel bad my health goes straight down 
So I had this feeling I needed Amigas. I've always felt this. When I was really sick years ago, I know that if I had Amiga oils, I started to feel better. I know that um, Amigas, especially in a great ratio of, of three to six, even upping the threes, can lower the acidity of things going on in your body. And I just had this calling that that may be what I needed. So I tried hemp milk. Now I mix hemp seeds with some coconut water in a blender and then I'll pour it through a nut milk bag and drink that. Oh my gosh, I felt so much better after having that. I don't have much. I will have anywhere from say 200 mils to 400 mils in the evening as the last meal of the day. And I started to notice even that night I could concentrate on things. And I'm someone who has been diagnosed with ADHD in my 20s. I was diagnosed with it, medicated for it for years, struggled with it my whole life and not realized to a really bad extent. Like I really couldn't concentrate that well most of my life. This all went when I started to eat raw foods after shingles, all my ADHD symptoms were back. It's like my brain could not regulate to the sense that you could look around my apartment and see little piles of things I'd started and then I just walk off. And I think that as well is when you have ADHD, you are craving dopamine, right? So it was almost like where my stomach was clogged and then there's stress put on the liver and kidneys is the whole body's not functioning properly. And once you deprive me, of uh, dopamine, my brain goes searching for it. So any low value task I'm in the middle of doing, I'm gonna leave that and get dopamine from doing something a little bit more exciting. So in a couple of days of having hemp seed milk, I also tried some walnut milk. I've also tried adding in a couple of Brazil nuts into those milks to try and up the selenium because I know that that's a vital nutrient that I may be deficient in as well. And my brain, my body, my skin. So I was going out in the sun and noticing I was going red or getting rashy. And as soon as I put nut milk in, and I don't know what part of that causes this, but I would start to go really brown, like as if I was protected, as if those nuts were somehow protecting my brain, they made my nerves feel better, protecting my skin. And look, I know that people can say that fats aren't optimal and we don't need much fat. But I think that comes from a mindset where we are frugivores, we do need sugar, as in we do need glucose in our bodies, we do need the fruit. But has anybody ever thought about the fact that, but in Australia, there wasn't even a hole in the ozone layer a hundred years ago. These are things that we need to have nutrients, minerals, oils in our body because we need to protect ourselves, okay? So when we base our diet on a frugivore diet, what we have in the world today, what we're up against, we have to protect ourselves. So I'm very open to getting nutrients from anywhere I can. So. I'm really open to fat and I do think there is a component of protein that I was missing because my hair has been growing like crazy. My skin is so much better. My nails are better. I just, since having the nut milks, it's been like a whole new level. So let me say what I'm having now. So I will get up each day and have coconut water. Now I'm able sometimes to go straight into the sweet juices and some days I still have a liter of green juice before I start the three liters or four liters of sweet juice. After that, I will have another green juice, more coconut water, and then at night I'm having about 800 mils of nut and seed milk every night. And every day, I swear I'm just feeling better and better. I love this combination of greens, fruits, and nuts that's spread out over the day. I feel like I'm getting everything I need. I haven't gone back to vegetable juices yet because at the start, whenever I had a vegetable juice, and I think it's the starch in it, my stomach would become a balloon. And I do feel there's a lot of healing properties when you up your omega-3s and omega-6 in a great ratio. So I believe I'm slowly healing from being so irritated by things like vegetables and starch as if my gut just needs to heal with this and settle. And there's just such a great component about you know, the myelin sheath and Amiga's helping build that. And I really feel from my past that my nerves are really stripped back and especially in the gut. So that gives you like misfiring from your nerves and neurons because they're electrical circuits, right? And the myelin sheath around those nerves needs to be built. And if you don't have the fats or the Amiga's in your diet and they're stripped back, you're going to have like arcing, right? You're going to have like nerves just misfiring and it just feels like that's something that's going on for me. But I do feel that that's healing. I love how this journey's going. People may ask, is it easy? Is juicing easy? 
No, juicing is not easy because it's not natural. It's definitely not natural to have just liquids. But if you look at me before and you look at where I'm at now, you will see that this is what I need to do right now. People are asking about mucoid plaque. Is mucoid plaque coming out of my body? So if you know what mucoid plaque is, it's like a mucus that forms in the gut from us as a society, or me as a person eating the wrong foods. So if you eat something that irritates the inside of the gut, it's just like pollen going up the nose as well. The body creates a mucus, okay? And over the years, that gets thick and sticky and it dehydrates and it creates a layer in the digestive tract. Many people disagree that this even exists. Do I think it exists? Yes and no. So I believe that it exists, this mucus and this um, even things getting caught in it and bacteria even living in it and causing problems and having parasites. I don't believe the mucus actually sits hardened as people think. I think it's mostly the products put in. And that's my opinion because what I've noticed comes out is bits and pieces of like mucus and old waste, but nothing in the sense of like we see that massive big, as if the whole system could be clogged. Um, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, it could happen. Also remember, I have been raw for two and a half years. So in that time, it would have been chipping away, right? So for me, I haven't seen it, um, but bits, uh, there's constantly mucus, and especially at the start, there was a lot coming out that would have been old. What I will say also with juicing is if I don't have the right balance of the greens, the coconut water, the sweet and the nut milk, is you can just have constant water coming through your bowel. And that was my experience. And now that I've got things more in balance, everything is just very quiet for a few days. And then I'll have a little bit of movement. I've actually had more waste come out since I added nut milks in and seed milks. So I think we all should take our journey as we're called to. And I wanna remind everybody how I find these healing modalities like the raw foods, the grape diet, and also now juicing is when I start them, I feel incredible. There is no detoxes. I have not experienced it. In my experience, detox is sometimes I'll have like a bit of mucus come out or I'll have like a, all of a sudden a temperature, but these come on very quickly and then they pass. They're not something where I've ever suffered for days and days and had all my hair fall out. For me, when that happens, I'm missing something. I have to feel good and know that this is all coming how it should. That's how I find what works for me. And I just want everyone to understand that's the best way to find a healing modality in natural foods. There's so many different things out there that can help you. I mean, just eating fruit, eating raw foods, eating a vegan diet, plant-based diet, all of these are gonna make your health so much better. You've gotta start where you're at, okay? And listen to your body. I mean, if you're eating a standard American diet and you start eating salads and start going, hey, I feel better with that, you don't have to just stop what you're doing and eat fruit. You just go with what you're doing, be aware of it and follow that path. I think that's so vital to get where you want to go in healing. Another question is how long will I juice for? Once again, that's not up to me, that's up to my body, which essentially is me, but it will tell me. It will tell me when I need to start adding foods back. Um, I am not there yet, so my gut is still a bit swollen. Also, very easily does candida flare up if I have too much sweet juice during a day. So I'm happy to keep going with this and just wait until my body tells me. I am, as I said, getting nutrients from, you know, the coconut water, the fruits, the greens, and the nuts. So they're all things I'd eat anyway. Basically, that's what I was eating before. I'm just drinking it now, right? And I want everyone to be aware that I am missing the top part of my stomach. I am missing my duodenum, and I am missing the top part of my digestion. So there is a small amount of cells left on my stomach, but it actually dropped over the years. I've done a video on that. I will link that below for you to watch. But I think this comes into why juicing is optimal for me right now. And it's just giving that whole GI tract a break. And I think that getting clogged up is what causes the stress response in my body and always causes a virus to flare up like it did five years ago. So if anyone has any questions, please let me know below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you guys in some way. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe below and I'll see all you guys soon. Bye guys.